Hi, I'm Rachel Matthews from Successful Garden Design, and this is the second part in our series on small space gardening. So in today's video, we're going to look at what you can do with small and really, really tiny spaces. So if you've got an awkward corner or somewhere that's just so small that you don't even think it's possible to do anything with, then this video is for you. So in this small space on the stairs as you go down to the breakfast room at Casa Aeri de la Crin, they have this little grouping of geraniums both in pots on the floor and hanging from the wall. But what makes this work is actually the structure they've put in. The pots and the little features bring it all together so that it's not just the plants. So as simple as this is, it's not just a few plants been plonked down, there has had a lot of thought go into it, from the monochromatic colour scheme right down to the ornaments and structure that provide the interest and backdrop to the planting. And then when you get down to the breakfast area, even the tiniest of corners like this one have a group of planting. And what makes this work is that there's different levels within the planting. So there's layers and because it's going up, it draws the eye up and again, very subtle colours here. But they're not just relying on the plants. You'll notice that sort of wrought iron gateway and also the driftwood behind the planting. That stru solid structure does create a nice amount of interest. And then as we look around the rest of the breakfast area and the poolside bit, you can see again, whenever there's a group of plants, they're structured, they're in layers, and just taking the eye up makes all the difference, as you can see here. And even on the ground in this very small garden, this mosaic draws the interest, and the very tiny pieces within it make that little space look much larger. Whenever you use smaller materials, you need a lot more of them to fill the space, so your eyes will automatically think, ah, lots of something means the space big, so it's a very good way to create the illusion of space. Now in the first video, I asked you a bit of a trick question. What is it about this planting that I wanted you to notice? Well, the answer is, look how few plants have been used in this garden. There's what, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six in pots, and just sneaking out, you can see a vine, so that's seven plants. How many gardens do you know that can look this good with just seven plants? So that's what I wanted to draw your attention to how important design elements are. The plants are the finishing touch, the icing on the cake, if you like. You know, in so many books and magazines and blog articles, all you read about is plants, plants, plants. Now, I'm not saying they're not important, of course, they are very important, but if you take into account the design elements first and foremost, and then add the plants, that's when the real magic happens. And that's my mission here at Successful Garden Design, to get you thinking further than just the plants, and starting to think about design and the impact it can make in your garden. Because I absolutely promise you, if you think about the design elements and not just the plants, it makes a tremendous difference and actually makes creating a beautiful garden so much easier. But I'll show you more tips and tricks on exactly how to incorporate design into your garden in future videos. So for now, let's continue on with our whistle stop tour of the small gardens in southern Spain. Then moseying on out from the casa, their next door neighbour has an even tinier garden. And this balcony garden, as you can see, it's absolutely crammed full of geraniums. And again, they've been very clever by using a limited colour palette. And that has created that abundant, glorious look. And it has the impact because they've just gone for one or two variations on the same colour. And that's been a very clever use of such a tiny space. Now going a little further afield, the city of Cordoba is well known for the patio gardens where, as you can see, people just litter their walls with brightly coloured pots. Again, very um, compact colour scheme. And again, this works so well because it leads the eye up. So you're really thinking the space is so much bigger because of the vertical element. And they're very cunning with, you'll notice there's no marks down the walls. They have the pots, there's a little wedge behind them where they keep them away from those lovely white walls. And um, they're watering them very precisely. Apparently, they have an old baked bean can or something on the end of a bamboo pole. So each pot gets the exact amount of water it needs and therefore there's no wastage and no masses running down the walls. 
And moving on to the narrow streets of Frigliana, they have loads of gardens. Well, in fact, people have no gardens. They just use the street, as you do. And again, collections of pots. And it looks beautiful, so you can have as little or as many as you like. So I hope today's video has inspired you to do something with your small space and that you can see that size really doesn't matter, it's what you do with it that counts. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, do drop me a line on the contact form at the SuccessfulDardenDesign.com website.